people who engage in aerobic exercise, they seem to do better in the long run. Now, this is not the kind of thing where if you exercise, you're gonna be teaching college calculus, uh, and we would have figured that out a long time ago. But in terms of just helping to maintain uh, and combat the ravages of aging on brain shrinkage, which I can tell you as a neurologist is a real phenomenon, which you see on MRI brain scans, and maintaining the integrity of the brain and forestalling things like uh, senior moments and so on. So aerobic exercise, I think that's something that has been overlooked in Parkinson's disease. One interesting aspect of this whole discussion is that people who have tabulated active exercise in middle life are at a significantly lower risk of later getting Parkinson's disease and later getting Alzheimer's disease and later getting dementia or mild cognitive impairment. So it turns out that the things that a lot of us would prefer not to develop later in life. If you exercise in midlife, you are at a lower risk. Now, whether it's cause and effect, you could debate, but uh, you know, the, the data is pretty, is pretty striking about these associations. It's like that old saying about certain things, this is a marathon rather than a sprint. So you have to choose things that you will maintain. So if you hate to get on an exercise bicycle, not a good choice. So you, but there should be something that you will start to do and continue. If you engage in this aerobic exercise, I would say uh, four times a week, about 45 minutes to an hour each time, uh, get sweaty, and if you do that, you're probably doing the best you can.